Hi everybody, I'm Kel and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, do me a solid and subscribe. And if you've tuned in previously, thanks again for joining. So I know my voice sounds a little crazy. I'm currently battling COVID. However, I wanted to come on and do this quick video on how to maneuver through acuity scheduling for your business. So without further ado, let's hop straight into the video. So you wanna go ahead and pull up the Acuity Scheduling website. I'm also gonna have this link down in the description box for easier access so that you may follow along. We're gonna go to Try Scheduling and it's gonna ask you to create an account. So we're just gonna continue with email and create an account. For the purpose of me showing you all how to properly maneuver through this site, we're gonna skip over the quick setup. Here you have your dashboard and or homepage. It's gonna show you your current calendar this is also where it will show you what appointments you have coming up. You can view it in a daily view, a weekly view, or a monthly view. To the left of the screen is where you will find your action menu. You have your overview, client scheduling page, and business settings. So we are going to start down in business settings and work our way up. So we're going to head over to availability first. This is where you will go to set your hours of operation. They already have listed nine to five. However, if you're a service provider, I would recommend to set your own times for your appointments. So for example, let's say your appointments take two hours each. So I would start at 10 a.m., next appointment at 12 p.m., 2 p.m., so on and so on. This way, it helps with gaps. If you have your current hours listed from this time through this time, it opens up the doors for people to create gaps in your schedule, meaning you're not making money throughout that time. So for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna go through and set these same times for all of these days. Let's say you don't wanna work any Tuesdays out of every single month, right? You're gonna go through, delete everything in that box and just leave it blank and it'll have closed. So none of your clients will be able to book on any Tuesday of the month. Once you're done setting your hours of operation, you're gonna go down to save regular hours. Next, we're gonna go over to calendar scheduling limits. So we're gonna start off where it says, do not allow clients to schedule fewer than. This is the amount of hours that you're gonna allow your clients to schedule up to. I always recommend, especially if you are new at whatever you're doing, no less than 24 hours they can schedule. For people that allow people to schedule same day, you are a different breed, okay, completely. Where it says 365 days in the future, this is really gonna be for those service providers that allow their clients to schedule with them months in advance. So if you're a makeup artist and you take weddings, stuff like that to where people are gonna need to schedule way ahead of time. So you can select how many days in the future that they can schedule. However, I'm gonna show y'all a way to where if you only wanna do it month by month, which is how I do it because I'm a lash artist and I don't need someone scheduling for September, we're in January. You can decide how early in advance you'd like for clients themselves to be able to cancel or reschedule appointments with you. You can also choose the amount of appointments that you have per time slot. Unless you are able to do more than one client at a time, I would just leave this at one. And then also here you can choose to maximize the amount of appointments you have until you're fully booked. And then you can press save once you're done there. We're gonna go back to the home screen and now go to appointment types. This is where you will create the type of service that you provide. Also, if you provide classes as well, you would create your classes here. We're not gonna go into classes, but if you would like a separate video on that, I'd be happy to do it. Go into new appointment type. We're just gonna name the first appointment type a classic set. Right up under the name of the service, you can add a longer description. So basically this just describes what the client is booking. You're also gonna add the duration of the service so your client is aware of how long it will take to complete and your price as well. You also get the option to upload a photo of the service that you're providing. And down where it says access, you can choose to make the service private or public. Once done, you wanna click create appointment type and voila, your new appointment is saved. So next we're gonna head over to add-ons. This would be any type of extra service that you would additionally charge the client for on top of the main service that they book. So for lashes, it would be stuff like bottom lashes, color lashes, extended lengths, and glitter spikes. So let's just do bottom lashes. Let's say we're charging $20 extra, 20 additional minutes for it. Access wise, we're gonna do client and admin. And we're just gonna make this available for all of our appointment types. Make sure to go back up to the top and press create so that it saves and perfect. 
Here, our clients can now book bottom lashes along with their service. Next, we're going to go to coupons. If you are running any specials, if you want to do a percentage off for clients currently, you can create them in coupons. So we can head back over to the home screen. This time, we're going to go down to intake form questions. This area is something that is overlooked by so many service providers, but please note it's very important. When you're dealing with disputes, you want to make sure you have a terms and conditions. Terms and conditions are important anyways when it comes to people just knowing the policy because you want to make sure that they click that button that states, I have read and understand all terms and conditions. Please, 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 if you don't do anything else before you make your booking site go live, please make sure that you have a set terms and conditions that each and every client has to agree to, okay? All right, so let's continue. Packages, gifts, and subscriptions. If you are offering a service to where your clients can sign up for subscriptions, this is where you'd go to do that. We're gonna skip down to payment settings because this is also quite important because you wanna get paid. So at the top, you're gonna choose your currency. Based off of where I live, obviously is USD. Payment terms. So this is set on require full payment by default, but you can change it. Personally, I only require the deposit amount and then my clients pay the remaining once they get the service done. You can set this however you like. They have different options. You can require full payment, require the deposit amount. You can require a deposit percentage. The list goes on and on and on. So I'm gonna list the amount that I like my deposits to be and where it says client can pay the full amount in advance. I turn this off personally. That is completely up to you and your business. It also has to where clients can tip extra. I just keep that off. Now where it says payment processors, you have the option between Stripe, Square, and PayPal. I use Square. The most used I believe are Square and PayPal, but any of the three, Acuity is partnered with. So you do have to choose whichever one and you'll just connect it. Make sure you go back up to the top and save your changes. And now we're gonna go to where it says client email. This is where your initial confirmations will be sent out, reminder emails, cancellation emails, all of the above. This is such a helpful tool as well. As soon as the client books, they're gonna receive an email. It's gonna say the appointment type, their first and their last name, what they booked, when they're supposed to come for their appointment, the location if you have one, and then you can also customize a thank you that every single client will receive in their email as well. This is gonna be sent to everyone that books, okay? Automatically, the site automatically does that for you. Reminder emails are pretty much the same concept. You can also set how much time in advance you'd like for this email to go out. So this is really important, especially when it comes to people that may work from home, or maybe you just don't want everyone to have your location. You can input manually your location to your shop or your suite in the reminder email so they know where to go. And you can set this up 24 hours in advance, 48 hours in advance, however long in advance you like for your clients to see this email. The follow-up feature is pretty cool too, because let's say you are a service provider to where people have to come back and get bills, such as nails, lashes, and you wanna make sure that you're reminding your clients like, hey, you know, you're coming up on your two week or your three week, you can send out automatic follow-up emails as well. So back on the home screen, up under client email, you have to where it says client SMS. This is basically the same thing. However, it's gonna be via text message instead. So up under client scheduling page, you're gonna go to scheduling page link. This is where you will go if you ever need to send out your link to your booking website to anyone. You also have the option to change your link name as well. Next, you wanna go to customize appearance. This is where you will create the look for your site. So you can go ahead and put your business name, select your business industry or your category. So I'm just gonna put salon because you know, it goes hand in hand with lashes. You can also upload your logo or create one via the site. Now where it has scheduling instructions, this is where you're gonna put your instructions and your policy. So we're just gonna put, please read full policy before booking. You can customize this. You can make it bold, underline, change the color of the font. You also want to make sure that your time format, your language, and your time zone are all correct. Now, obviously, this is just a free version of Acuity, and this is not a customization video. And if you would like that, just make sure to leave me a comment down below. 
and I can definitely go more into detail about that. But this is going to be the action view of your site. So once you go to your site, this is where your client will see. They can click on any service they like. Let's just add some bottom lashes and all of those times that we did earlier are here. So they'll be able to choose from here. You can click continue. They'll fill all of this out. And of course, before completing the appointment, they would have to pay that deposit that we put in earlier. This is just a quick example of how the confirmation page will look. It will state the date and the time of their appointment as well. So I logged into my Acuity account just to show y'all very briefly how it will look once you customize. So we're gonna go back to our dashboard and up under overview, you want to go to clients. Any client that has ever booked with you will show up here. If you need to block a client, if you need to rebook for a client, that is where you will do that. Invoices, pretty self-explanatory. You'll create invoices there. And then reports is where you'll be able to see how much money you've generated since the time that you created your Acuity account up until now. So you can see how much money you've made off of add-ons, off of tips, and so on and so forth. Alrighty, so I wanna show y'all one last thing. So let's head back over to our dashboard. And up at the top, we're gonna go to block off time. This is where if you need to block off any time, let's say you're going on vacation, or if you don't want your clients to book any more than a month or however many weeks out, this is where you will go to do it. So let's say we wanna block off our schedule by the month. So you're gonna click block off multiple days, and we're in January currently, we're gonna block off February. So we're gonna go to the first, and then in the second slot, we're gonna go to the 28th. Make sure you click up under on calendar to block off every single service that you provide. And then at the bottom, you're gonna click block off time. Now your clients cannot book for any date in February. So I wanna thank you all again for tuning in to this how-to video using Acuity Scheduling. If you have any further questions, make sure to leave them down in the description box. And until next time, bye.